Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the importance of science and technology. Science and technology is the primary productive force, and the development of almost all walks of life is inseparable from the achievements of technological innovation. Facing the future, there are still many cutting-edge technologies waiting for research breakthroughs. The good news is that China has won 52 world-leading research frontiers. What are the general directions? How to maintain the advantages of cutting-edge scientific and technological research? China leads the world in 52 research frontiers. The global technology industry has undergone earth-shaking changes. Take the most common chips, for example, new processes can be iterated almost every year. In particular, TSMC completed a breakthrough in the mass production of 3 nanometers chips on December 29, announcing that this is the most advanced semiconductor technology in the world. With the support of the 3 nanometers process, many product terminals such as data centers, artificial intelligence, smartphones, and computers will usher in a breakthrough in performance. It is foreseeable that the global technology in the 3 nanometers process era will rise to a higher level. Although with the breakthrough of chips, the manufacturing cost has also risen, but from the perspective of human technological civilization, it is naturally a good thing to be able to continue to develop. In addition to chips, there is also a lot of room for exploration in hundreds of scientific research fields around the world. In this regard, the Chinese Academy of Sciences released an important Research Frontiers 2022 report which disclosed the research activity of 110 hotspots and 55 emerging frontiers in 11 major disciplines in various countries around the world. The report mentions that the United States is the most active in research, ranking first in the world, and China ranks second in the world. But in these hotspots and emerging cutting-edge research, China has accounted for 52 of the world's first. The general direction is reflected in artificial intelligence, energy security, deep space exploration, and so on. From the perspective of the 11 major disciplines, China ranks first in the fields of agricultural science, ecological and environmental science, botany and zoology, chemistry and material science and physics. From the perspective of these research fields, they all belong to the cutting-edge technology of the future. Artificial intelligence has begun to be widely used in life and is still exerting greater social value. As for energy security, it mainly includes new energy electric vehicles and related supporting battery industry chains, as well as energy recycling. Looking at deep space exploration, the most representative is the Chinese Space Station, which is the home of the Chinese people in space, and has profound significance for deep space exploration, space experiments, teaching, etc. Of course, these are just the tip of the iceberg of 52 cutting-edge technological research. I believe that with the efforts of Chinese researchers, progress can still be maintained. It seems that the People's Daily is right. The People's Daily has said that the sea of stars and technological innovation makes people feel excited. This means that on the road of scientific and technological innovation, it is not only infinite in style, but also as vast as the sea of stars. The United States has been paying close attention to the developments in the field of science and technology over the years, and has launched measures from various aspects such as chips, 5G, and semiconductor equipment. 
If you want to achieve the goal of technological leadership, let others stay where they are. However, doing so in the United States will only speed up the progress of others, just like the frog jumped out of the comfort zone in advance, and is more aware of the reality that we should insist on independent research and development. Nai Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, also said that core technologies cannot be bought or exchanged. Therefore, it is also expected that more self-developed core technologies will emerge and emerge in more cutting-edge research. How to maintain the advantages of cutting-edge scientific and technological research? China's technology is advancing rapidly, and the changes brought about by technology can be clearly felt in just a few years. Some domestic technology companies are also vigorously deploying, such as Huawei's self-developed Hongmeng operating system, which opens the key to the era of the Internet of Everything. Moreover, the Hongmeng system continues to break through the ecology. The number of devices equipped with the Hongmeng system on the market is nearly 600 million. This is a milestone and an important manifestation of the progress of the domestic operating system. In addition, Alibaba is actively laying out the Risk V architecture. Based on this architecture, it released the world's first high-performance chip development platform Wujian 600, and based on this platform, it built a prototype SoC Ying 1520 processor. This is just the tip of the iceberg. The RISC-V processor developed by Alibaba has opened up the mainstream operating system platform in the market, and its adaptability is very wide which provides great advantages for domestic manufacturers to enter the RISC-V track. Whether it is the operating system or the RISC-V architecture, it is a common cutting-edge technology, and it is also the direction of many domestic technology companies. So how to maintain the advantages of cutting-edge scientific and technological research in the future? First of all, human resources need to be guaranteed. Talent is the most important thing at any time, especially the chip industry, which requires a lot of talent resources. China's integrated circuits are facing a talent gap of 200,000, while domestic colleges and universities have established integrated circuit colleges to provide more talents for the domestic integrated circuit industry. Relevant semiconductor companies have also launched school enterprise cooperation with universities, using their own industrial advantages to provide a platform for talent development to help talents grow faster. These are the main ways to protect talents. The second is to have a stable R&D investment. It takes money to do scientific research. For small projects, Hundreds of thousands or millions are enough, but when it comes to large-scale experimental projects, it costs a lot of money just to purchase experimental equipment. Huawei's annual R&D investment is more than 100 billion yuan, which may be the reason why Huawei can take the lead in various technologies. If technology companies can pay attention to R&D investment and adjust the proportion of R&D revenue, they may be able to achieve different research results. The Chinese Academy of Sciences released an important report showing that China has won the first place in 52 cutting-edge technological fields. This is a good achievement, but there is still a long way to go. There are still many technological fields waiting to be explored, such as quantum computing, artificial intelligence, chip semiconductors, etc., and we look forward to making greater progress. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.